Hey, so thanks for clicking on the videos. Today we're talking about drains on flat roofs and more importantly, not just talking about drainage on flat roofs, but why you would want to sump a drain on a flat roof. Well, I have with me here, Chris from New Line Roofing. He's currently the lead subcontractor here on this project where they're doing a big TPO install. Uh, take it off, what, 400, 400 squares of Decora and uh, cedar shaking going back with new Decora. So Chris is really gonna be taking care of this project for Skyguard. So I appreciate him hopping on and Chris is gonna be helping us uh, shoot this video about the drainage. So if you're one of our loyal subscribers, thanks a lot for coming back to watch more videos. If you're new to our channel, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Zach Blinkentop. I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a US military veteran, licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. We've done projects from Billy up the street all the way through the US government. So I promise you came to the right place for your information. Now, Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about New Line Roofing and why people should listen to you about, about commercial drains. Okay. Uh, my name is Chris Moreno. I founded New Line Roofing in 2013, uh, really with a focus on uh, being a commercial contractor and a commercial installer. Um, for previous to that, I'd worked for a manufacturer. Yep. So I had a lot of relationships with some established um, residential contractors and some other commercial contractors. And when I started the business, um, I was there to provide a uh, kind of a helping hand to get some guys. Um, doing their roofs right, installed yep. properly um, to code and uh, help some of the bigger guys when they uh, have too much work, we can handle their overflow. Awesome. All right, let's get started in the video. All right, Chris, so we're on top of a newly installed TPO roof and I see you guys have a ton of drains up here. Why, why do you sump some of the drains and why do you not uh, sump some of the drains? And what's what's really the, the number one things you want to watch out for when you actually making sure this roof drains properly? Sure. So uh, with regards to sump, sumps, all sump means is you're trimming the excess insulation to bring the drain, um, the water where the drain flows into below the roof line. So, you, so you're referring to this area, and if you can see this from the, the video, so this area is much lower than this. So you're referring to this as a sump area. That's correct. Right. And so what we do is, is we get that drain as low as we can. In this particular instance, um, the all the drains were cut by the previous contractor. So we just had a pipe. We actually didn't have a bowl. And there's really nothing at that point you can do other than use an insert. So when you have the opportunity, like we did here, where we have a tapered insulation package. So we're looking at, you know, there's probably four inches, to okay. two to four inches of insulation here. You've got your cricket that runs in this way. You've got another cricket that runs in this way. So we're really in the directional. It's, we've got a, a push coming this way and this way. So the water is designed to flow here. Since we can cut it, that, that give it a, a little extra push yep. or pull from gravity. Yep. Um, it just makes the water flow better. I got you. Faster. So, so this is just a, standard drain that you would have anywhere else but this when you refer to a sump drain all we're talking about is allowing a little bit extra area here to, to roll down that way you can you can the, the, the drain will actually just work better correct that's correct you're, you're putting the access point for the water to get out below the roof line. so let's let's use this use this drain for instance why would you choose not to sump a drain because if it's, if it's better you would want to sump every drain correct what are, what are some reasons that you would not want to sump a drain? Typically, uh, when you just can't. Okay. So if we are, if we're going straight to the deck here for some reason, you can't really sump it um, unless the the bowl is already set below the deck. I got you. So if your if your access point is at the deck or higher, yep. it's it's difficult to sump. Um, but if you can, um, if you've got that insulation that's built up you have the ability to put that drain, or in this case, the drain insert lower than the, the, the roof line. So that's, a, uh, you know, on this other section over here, 
we're going basically right to the deck. Gotcha. We have we have full taper over here. We've got some insulation under the deck over there. So we're just using taper. That taper goes to zero. Um, so the zero being the deck. Mm -hmm. And then we're just we just put the insert in. That makes total sense. Well, Chris, that was great information. I, guys, if you have any additional questions of this, please leave it to uh, leave us a comment on the YouTube channel. We'll do our best to get it answered. But this is great information. I think a lot of people can get a lot out of why you want to sump your drains. For sure. Well, hey, Chris, thanks a lot for coming out and helping us shoot this video today. So one of the great things about Chris and New Line Roofing is they are really, really great at doing a ton of different uh, roofing systems out there. So if you're a general contractor and you're looking to hire a great roofing contracting company, Chris is your guy. I'm going to have his information linked in the description below. So again, if you're looking in the Colorado market and you guys cover uh, all of Colorado and do you travel anywhere outside of Colorado? We'll travel north into Wyoming. Okay. Sometimes out into um, New Mexico, but our, our bread and butter is here in, okay. in Colorado. So if you're looking again for a, a roofing contractor to take care of a, a big project, Chris is your guy. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel a lot. If you want to find out more information about us and Digital Roofing Innovations, go to our website at digitalroofingcompany.com in our blog section. And please give a subscribe if you want to see more information from us. As always, at Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values. Have a great day. Thank you.